Today, I will deliver a story about the interesting world of numbers. Now, firstly, take a look at this picture. Although it seems a little blurry uh, in the screen, but you can have some guesses. The picture was taken in November in 2020. Do you now have a better guess? And before I tell you what this picture is about, let's imagine together. When I say the number 25, and that's the temperature, do you feel hot at this temperature? Please raise your hand if you feel hot. 25? OK. What about 40 Celsius degree? Do you feel hot at this temperature? Wow, many of us. I feel that too. And now I tell you 40 is the speed of your car. Do you feel it too fast? Mm, no. What about 135? Is the speed. Do you feel hot? Uh, do you feel fast? Yeah, I feel that too. And it even exceeds the highway restriction, right? And now I tell you the 135 is 135 pounds, which is about 61 kilograms. And that is your weight. How do you feel about it? Do you feel comfortable or uncomfortable? If you feel uncomfortable, please raise your hand or not if you like. I know it differs between ages and genders, but I feel way too comfortable at that weight. And I decided to make myself not feel comfortable by limiting my food intake. Now, I'll tell you the temperature when the picture was taken was not 30 degrees, but 23 degrees. It was the 14 year old me on my weight scale. I was trembling in my long sleeve pajamas, despite everyone else wear t-shirt at that time. I have no extra protection, but only my skin. And now, let's imagine another scene together. We heard about Mr. Reed talk about the cheese trap. Now, let's have a cheesecake. Imagine if you sit nicely in a coffee house. The shop owner said to you, oh, it's a good day today, so I will give you cheesecake for free. Whoa, what a lucky day. Do you want to rate a five star for the coffee house? <laughs> well, some of us do, but I didn't. I never want to return to that place again, I thought. Why? Because that was beyond my expectation. I need to do this calculation, do the research online about how it weighs, how many calories contained, and how many minutes I should exercise to balance these calories. I even be a master of converting kilojoules to calories by divided kilojoules by 4.18, because I know it so well. But it's never a simply eat or not question. It comes from social media, it, and it affects beyond that. Now, I will share a picture with you. And please raise your hand if you've ever seen those products, or even try one of those. When I walk on the street, I usually hear or listen to people talk about how to lose weight using different methods. Those products are what I've seen on social media. They're promoted by different influencers, and those influencers often have thousands and millions of followers. Among those who are talking about weight losing, many of them are quite slim. They obviously didn't notice the harmfulness of this product. And moreover, if you click one of this related post, the algorithmic decision will promote it more of similar posts on your recommended list. 
So now you may relate the disordered eating pattern only to the desire of weight losing. But it's more than that. Eating disorders often coexist with other mental disorders, such as anxiety and depression. The problem exists long ago in history. But what promoted and make it so widespread is the social media and those algorithms that make you view those similar posts again and again. And I decided to conduct a research about how social media can influence people's eating attitudes and behaviors. In 2021, I, I designed a questionnaire and gathered 347 responses. This is one of the question when asked about will you care whether people comment on your diet plan or body shapes? Only a mere 7.2% of people answered no. And that shows how social media emphasize the value of our body shapes in our life. What that tells us is how social media commodify our body. It tells you what a perfect body is, what an ideal life is. It asks you to exercise yourself and spend so much time and energy to plan your diet, to imitate those influencers. They tell you, you must do that, to not be lazy. Otherwise, you are a loser. See those advertisements and popular videos on different platforms. They tell you what are the good diet plans, even though they may not fit your culture, they did not fit your family, not fit yourself. They tell you if you follow all of this, you will become successful. Even you can see one of the advertisements said, your life gets better when you get thinner. Is that true? Well, some believe. And I can see many of people who believe this are struggling with this issue. The problem is indeed more frequent to occur on females, which was shown and supported by research in 2009. However, I will encourage everyone who suffer in this problem to seek help. It is also important to make mental education more accessible and to gain support from your family and friends. So for people who have friends or family may experience in this problem, here are some advice I'll give to you, which I where I found were helpful for me. First, let them know the beauty of reality and they are loved just as they are. Second, be patient, allow slow progress. Third, look for professional help together. It's very important, especially when sometimes the problem exist and affect the entire family. And the last, enjoy food together and appreciate the positive value brought by food. Before I conclude, I actually want to share some of my struggles during the preparation process. It's a little challenge to reveal all the experience I have and obstacles I experience. And when I searched similar TED Talks on the internet, I found those comments, some of them are very encouraging, but some of them even drags me back. But there is a voice in my heart that tells me this is one of my mission in my life. I have to do it and I must be brave about doing it. If I feel too afraid of it, 
And who else are going to present this topic? And lastly, I want to express my gratitude to my family and friends who support me all the time. Without them, I couldn't have today's progress and stand here talking about this topic. And I want to conclude I, I want to conclude the topic as please love yourself, enjoy food, and don't let the internet distort your mirror. Thank you.